Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Fia and I'm the Curly Sewister. Thank you for joining me. So, like the title suggests, um, we were down in London for a couple of days. I'm filming this, it's a Sunday at the minute. Yeah, it's Sunday. So we went down on Thursday, um, just a little um, impromptu trip to London. We were meant to go at Christmas time um for like winter fair and stuff like that however it got really close to be handbooked or anything and then we thought do you know what it's going to be so busy we had so many things on as well so i was like forget it let's just go into in um january after christmas because if you've been to winter wonderland once twice you know it's nothing especially with a with a child as well now like i've been before pre having my having my little boy um and you know we could go on the rides and stuff although i hate rides i absolutely hate rides and oh i can't think of anything worse i remember well i was one of those kids at school that was forced to go and buy my friends and then i threw up so yeah and then winter wonderland about three years ago i went with one of my friends and she was like come on come on let's go on a ride let's go on a ride so i was like oh i really don't want to fine i'll go on one no joke i had vertigo for like the next three hours so she's never never said after that to go on anything else um but yeah so i didn't really fancy so i was like let's go into january and then we've got something to look forward to then after christmas and everything after christmas and new year um so yeah um my one of my really chilled out friends so she was like i'm not bothered let's do whatever you want to i for some reason thought we were going for four nights we were we were going for three um was it two but anyway so i don't know um we went to bubble planet that was um i had a few things on my list i wanted to go to bubble planet gold hawk road um shopping and like look at the, the landmarks like you know big ben and um buckingham palace just because i've been doing a bit of reading with my little boy um you know buckingham palace and stuff he is nearly two um if, if you don't know and you've not followed my channel for long enough um and i actually made him a little outfit so i'm gonna do a friday sews because i missed one because i wasn't around last week so i'll have a friday sews um which i'll talk about what i made him but basically i got him a london print fabric and i made him a little romper if i can i'll put a little picture up um and he went down in it and everyone in the train was like oh my god that's such a cute little outfit and i didn't i didn't say oh i made it i just i don't know it felt weird to say it so i didn't but yeah um so yeah the timings just worked out so good we got there got got to king's cross about two o'clock um yeah what did we do with that first day then yeah so we got to there and i was like we had something to eat had some lunch chilled and then we're like well, let's go um, my mate was like it closes at six and it was like three o'clock when we were still in the flat so i was like okay let's go <laughs> let's do it if we're gonna do it let's do it now um so i think it's shepherd's bush uh market so we went we had a little stroll through there um it was kind of you can tell everything was shutting down because it was probably about four o'clock by the time we were there then oh and they had sugar cane juice as well and obviously we go to egypt quite a bit so we always get sugar cane my little boy loves sugar cane juice so we got that um we were having a drink of that as we were strolling and then because there's a bridge I, I actually did a youtube live but my signal was really bad so i just thought forget this i'll just do some videoing and then i'll make a vlog so this is what this is now so i'll put some footage up as well and then i'll show you my haul of what i've got as well so we started off at the bridge so we walked um past like that like a little shoehorn around again up to the bridge and then like we just went um down to tube again so for i think it was probably about four o'clock or five ish then that we started to go into in some of the fabric shops so like i said i'll be putting footage um went to one i think it was silk place had a little look it was it was all right um and then there was this shop it was a massive huge and i've not been buying contrary to what you might all think i actually haven't been buying a lot of fabric recently um so i thought i'd said to myself i can 
I can have a little bit of a splurge um, because I'm doing this new thing, 5-1, which I might I make five pieces of clothing, I can go on one splurge, 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 splurge. Um, so yeah, and I've been making the peonies have a night and then I've made him two rompers. So yeah, that was my five. So I had a little splurge. So the first shop that I went to was massive, massive it was. Um, I'll put some footage up of that shop and nothing for myself, but my little boy loves um, cars, obsessed with cars he is really 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 into his cars and then we've been doing a little bit of work on colors as well so <coughs> i saw this fabric so cute and i've not seen anything like this there might be something around but i've not seen anything it's really cute it's really thick so i think it's like um i don't know what it is like a cotton drill or co cotton canvas something it's really thick um, fabric, I don't know, you can't see because my face, but yeah, it's really thick um, woven fabric. So I bought that, I bought a meter because I was saying to my friend, I was like, oh, I don't know how much to buy, how much do I buy? Because um, I wanted to make him a romper. And then I thought, do you know what? I can make him a longish um, dungarees. I've got the hay, hay day dungarees from Waves and Wild. So I make them and then as it grows I can chop them off or you know if I've got too much fabric so I've got a meter of this and it was 15 pounds um so I just got it because I thought oh, I really liked it I've not seen anything like it and it's quite versatile it's a, it was 60 inches wide as well so I thought I could make him some little shorts that he could wear um as well as romper if I've got a little bit too much. I was thinking of getting half a metre and I was like, no, he's getting taller and taller and I'm just going to really kick myself. That's what my friend was like, no, you're going to kick yourself if you don't buy it. So I was like, right, I've got a metre then, just to be on the safe side. Definitely wouldn't need a metre and a half, I don't think. But it's directional, the print. So, or does it really matter? You could have one piece, but yeah. Don't reason I didn't think you'd need that much. But yeah, £15. And then I was saying to my mate, I was like, oh, I'm doing so well. Because I went to a few other shops and I didn't get anything. I was like, oh, how well am I doing? I'm doing so well. I've not bought anything for myself. And then my mate is really into Frida Kahlo. So she saw this fabric in the shop and she was like, oh, I really like it. I'm going to get it. Okay. So I was like, oh, yeah. What are you going to It was quite narrow as well. Um, lightweight it was so I was like oh you can make a little cami something that you're going to wear because honestly don't scrimp because she's quite new to sewing as well so I said oh don't be tight on it because this is what I do uh, what I used to do I used to be really tight and then uh, pff, I won't have the fab pattern that I wanted to make I could never make um, because I didn't have enough so I think she got three meters in the end because I was like oh don't get two I don't think that's going to be enough either get two and a half or three so she got three in the end and obviously while she was looking and umming and ahhing. If I can, I'll put a picture of what she got. Um, I was obviously then having a look and I was like, well, I wanna get something then for myself. <laughs> so, this fabric. I just really liked it. I don't know, it was there and probably because I was hanging about waiting for her to decide and choose. And I was like, oh, this is nice. And it just felt really soft. And I don't have a lot of jersey fabric well, I probably do now to be fair but um last count I've got a lot of wovens but not that many not much jersey so I was like right and I said to her look because normally if I'm shopping by myself um I, I don't know so I was like I put it up to myself and I was like look does it suit me if it suits me yes if she says no because she's very honest I was like if she says no I'm not gonna get it and I put it up to myself and she was like oh, yes it really does and I had my hair down as well and she was like oh it, yeah it really really suits you um, and I just thought to myself, like a little jersey dress, because I think it, I don't know what type of quality it is, to be fair. Um, oh, hang on. Slice that up. And then, now in the shop, when I stretched it, it didn't really turn 
do you know how some it goes really white it didn't do that so it's got a good stretch it's got a bit of black in there the great black tights and i got two meters i think it was seven pounds a meter and it just felt really soft and i said to him what what is it what what's the composition and it was like it's a cotton jersey so i've trusted him i hope it is a cotton jersey i was like it's definitely no poly content um because i don't know can you guys tell i mean some i can i can tell but others i really can't tell um and he was like no there's definitely no poly content it's um it's a cotton jersey was what it is so i was like okay so i got that and i don't know what to make with it but i'm thinking nice little jersey dress um i've got the oh i can't think um oh i'll put a picture of it is it forget me not patterns um just a simple like short dress because i've got two meters and i can wear it with my usual tights and boots because it definitely looks like a, an autumnal or winter fabric does this to me so yeah i've got that and then obviously that was the tie turning <laughs> because after that oh gosh dropping stuff after that we went into this other shop and a point i think it was like six o'clock so the shops were starting to shut then and i was like oh there's a few more shops to go to and then we went into one shop and we saw something in the window and was like oh that's really pretty um and then my friend was like oh yeah and then i saw this oh it looks really bright over here oh no guys it looks really bright but I'm really into animal snake print, especially at the minute. Really, really, and it's a velvet. And it's black behind. Look at the stretch on that. So again, stretch. I mean, it looks, because the light's on, it looks proper OTT. But in the shop, it didn't look as bright. <laughs> they had a purple, they had this, they had a black. But this one just looked beautiful, this green yeah really into snake prints really am um drape that over myself yeah just with this light but otherwise it didn't look as as shiny does that help no it's just really shiny isn't it <laughs> that's really not helping at all but yeah so i got that i think i got two meters or two and a half meters of this and he did say it said it was meant to be fifth no did he say it was 12.99 a meter but then he did reduce it down to 6.99 so i was like oh i'm getting a bargain i have to get it so i'm sure i think i got two and a half or two meters of this in the end because i thought I, it's the nap because i should really think about the nap but i've got no idea what i'm going to make about this with this this was the only one that I was when we got back to the flat i was like hmm should i have bought this or not obviously my friend was enabling and she was like oh yes no it's beautiful um but i don't know this is the only one that i've got that i'm thinking hmm i'll do it neil i like it but i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna what, when am i gonna have an occasion to wear this and what do i make with it that it's not gonna be really ott obviously a dress but what type of dress if you have any ideas please leave me a comment but yeah i got that as well um and it's really wide is this fabric i think it's 60 inches again and then like i said the tide had turned then so i couldn't stop thankfully all the shops were starting to close at that point um so my mate was like no more look the hoovering in that one i was like okay that's fine let's not go in anymore but we went in this last one and the man in there was really really sweet and i just thought it was just very very sweet and i just was like oh i might get this but there was this fabric that i bought look at that green now i love green absolutely love green however i'm really drawn to reds now they had a red one again I'll, i should be putting footage up and the red one was just so beautiful i loved it that's what drew my eye drew my eye to it was a red one initially i think from the window 
and then he was like oh I've got more colours and I was like oh the red and I put it up to my face I was like what do you think my friend and she was like mm, I'm not feeling it and I was like oh okay and then she was like try the green one so I put the green one and she was like oh my gosh yeah that really suits you that one so I was like okay then and I was slumming and ahhing because I was like I like the red I love red but I just went with it so I got the green and to be fair I'll probably get more more use out of this one so this is a viscose it's a really buttery viscose and again it's really wide 60 inches and how much did he say to me it was five pound a meter this was so i didn't think it was too bad at all um i feel like it's definitely a more of an autumnal again all these are aren't they yeah autumnal definitely not a summer fabric at all um yeah and again what was i thinking with this so with this i was thinking just a really simple because it's got the black leaves in there i thought to myself a really simple um square neck dress um with a gathered skirt and i can just again <laughs> I'm, so, I'm such a creature of comfort again with black tights and boots because it's that kind of autumnal wintery fabric yeah i mean i could always wear it with like a black jumper and have the skirt peeking out so it looks like it's a skirt but i thought it was quite versatile so i got two meters of that so that this one cost me 10 pounds so all in all i think i ended up spending 10 15 25 35 40 60 quid yeah 60 quid on fabric um and that's all that i got from gold hawk road so what do you think what do you think about my mate about my ideas what i got is there any shops that you would recommend i should have gone into um yeah what do you think um what's the market like normally have i missed it um should i have gone when it's at its peak there was a lot in the market there was a lot of um pre-cut fabrics so yeah the only thing that i didn't get and i thought to myself oh no I really should have got it or should i but i don't know i'm waiting to <laughs> i don't know i'm waiting to see um a pattern that i really really want before I go ahead and purchase it in it's some African wax print fabrics um Ankara Ankara fabrics I think so there were some and they were absolutely gorgeous and I was very very tempted but I didn't because again I was like mm. and it was quite dear as well to be fair um so I just thought mm, I'll hold off I feel like making a circle skirt and I've got some fabrics. I want to make a circle skirt if I like it and if it's something that's, that I'm going to be wearing and it's going to be suitable in my... Um, sorry, battery's running low. If it's going to be something that's going to get wear in my wardrobe, then I'll go ahead and I might splash out on some Ankara fabrics. But otherwise, yeah, I just... Um, I didn't get it, but there were some beautiful ones and I should have been putting some footage up of... The ones as well so yeah what do you think let me know in the comments and if you've newly subscribed as well thank you for subscribing and i hope you stay around for the ride and i'm getting better with posting as well so yeah oh what else do we do in london well this is the end of the sewing bit so you can click off if you if that's all you wanted to know oh my hair's a mess the storm either there's loads of storms at the minute why are there so many storms never remembered this many storms before I don't know what's going on um yeah so after that gold hog road we went back and then we went to bubble planet it was amazing it was so good <laughs> so 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 good i loved it um my little boy was just in his element it was amazing it was so good for for the price as well um 
and then they give you like little you know those mochi mochi ice cream balls as well at the end and the like these bubbles and oh it was it was so so good he was so tired at the end of it though absolutely shattered he was um and then after that on that evening what did we do after we got back to the flat um went sightseeing so we went to the big ben buckingham palace <laughs> and my friend she's so funny she was like Saf, he's gonna sleep because he fell asleep, didn't my boy? Um, and she's like, he's not gonna know what this is. I'm like, no, we've been doing some reading on Buckingham Palace. He's been reading um, that nursery rhyme. Oh, what is it? That pussy cat, pussy cat way. Have you been? So I was like, no, we have to. We have to show him. So I woke him up, and he was like, oh, house. I was like you're not wrong kiddo yeah it's someone's house yeah <laughs> it's just a very big house and then showed him big ben he was like big ben big ben so he just kept saying big ben so he loved that um and then he got a free cookie at greg's so you can take the boy out of yorkshire but you can't take the yorkshire out of him <laughs> of the northern it's a northern thing and take greg's if you're not from the uk and you're like what's you on about is this pastry shop that you can get pastries from so yeah and then we went to Outernet in London it was so cool so he was having his little Greg's in this place I'll be putting pictures up hopefully of what we did um eating his little Greg's in this Outernet place and it was so good Re and it was free it was we were there for about 45 minutes it was amazing and then yeah on the next day back to it <laughs> and like i said i'll be doing a friday so so that'll be a catch-up i might film that now so if you see me i'll have the same clothes and i'll look the same just because i'm a really cutely aware that this is 21 minutes so if i go on about everything else that i've been up to it's gonna be a very long vlog so yes i'll finish that off now that was my little tour of gold hawk road um fabric shopping in london so thank you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.